giving God all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. Giving a great shout out to the YouTube family. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to jump right into this video. Lukewarm faith and lukewarm churches. Somebody already know where I'm going with this. Lukewarm faith and lukewarm churches. It's a lot of lukewarm churches up right now, people. A whole lot of them. And I'm going back to Revelation chapter 3. See, when the Lord described this word lukewarm, see, I'm just going to focus in this video on this one church, the Laodicean church. And when you look at this church in Revelation, man, this is the harshest letter. The harshest of those seven letters to those churches in Asia Minor. And when you really study it close, we can see that the Lord is not pleased with this church. And my question to the YouTube family, how many churches right now do you think the Lord is not pleased with? He wasn't pleased with their deeds. See, they were neither cold nor hot when it came to God. They were just lukewarm. Now, when you think about lukewarm, Let's picture in our mind a beverage, a drink. Beverages are better either cold or what? Hot. See, that's how the Lord wants his people to be. See, for God, you're going you either going to be, he rather have you to be hot, which meaning being spiritually on fire, having that fire for the Lord, or you can just be playing out cold, rejecting him. And see, the later scenes, they understood that analogy because, see, in their city, they used to have that drinking water that came from a spring. And it was lukewarm. It was not like the hot springs that people bathed in. Nor was it cold for drinking. It was just lukewarm. See, that's how their water was. And the Lord tied that analogy in with how they are. They spirit. Lukewarm. And this church reminds me of most churches I used to visit. And when you think about how people are going to church just to say they're going to church, they gossiping behind each other back. They got all this hate and jealousy going on. These churches are lukewarm. And Jesus make it clear that this is a dead church. And I'm going to say this boldly. It's a lot of dead churches around this world. And when I say dead, it's not to say that there were no true believers because there are some people sitting in some of these churches that really believe, but they just kind of lost because they're hanging around these churches and accepting any and everything. I don't want to be in no dead church. And the church as a whole in Revelations right here was very uncommitted. They were very uncommitted. And Jesus told them about their works. And he also told us in Matthew, which you hear Brother Mitty Man always say, by their fruit you will recognize them. Every good tree does what? Burn good fruit. So clearly the deeds of the later sins were not in keeping with true salvation because the deeds of the true believer will be ooh, hot. You should have that, that fire for the Lord. And a lot of people just don't. They can be easily recognized by the world because the problem is you got too many so-called Christians trying to look like the world and have a spiritual Life at the same time. A lady got mad at me because I said, you can't have your spiritual spiritual life looking like your worldly life. Well, when we look in this church, they was doing any and everything. They wasn't hot nor cold. They were just lukewarm. Done without joy. Doing things without love. Doing things without the fire of the Holy Spirit. Now you got people telling you how much Holy Spirit you got inside of you. Too many people looking around at what somebody else doing. And they can't get on fire for the Lord. They can't praise. They can't study his word. They won't pray. See, the lukewarm are those who claim to know God. But live as does. They live like God don't even exist. 
That's what this church was doing in Revelation chapter 3. And that's what a lot of churches are doing right now. Because you done got to the point where you got more man-made traditions and religion taking over the house of God. People are doing what they want to do. And they don't care if it's the God's way of doing it. See, they might go to church, but their religion is self-righteous. They may claim to be Christians, but their hearts are unchanged. And you got all these hypocrites in the church. You remember the scripture saying they worship me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. That reminds me of this church right here. See, the Lord rebuked and disciplined the true believers in the church of Laodicea, commanding them to repent. You remember he told them to repent. He see how lukewarm they were, how their attitudes were. And they was pretty much in bad shape. See, he going to reject those ones who are lukewarm by spitting them out of his mouth. Somebody catch that. Because the Lord is so awesome. And when you look at this church, they enjoyed material prosperity that led them to what false sense? That expression, I am rich and have become wealthy. See, they thought they had it going on. And let's fast forward to nowadays. A lot of people think they got it going on because of their money, their wealth, their material things. And when you get caught on things, material things, money, let me say it right, the love of money, you in bad shape. See, a lot of people can't suffer for God. They far from that. They don't want to suffer. They think their money going to get them into heaven. They think because they go to church every Sunday, that's going to get them into heaven. And when you think about this church being lukewarm, it's a shame that it's a lot of churches that are lukewarm like this. That's why I did the other video said, you should want to be in a church like Smyrna and uh, I believe Philadelphia, if I'm saying the right one. Those two are the only churches the Lord didn't have too much of a problem with. But we see that this church right here, he had the biggest problem with. They thinking they had it going on, people. And a lot of these churches now, they think they, going, they, they, think they got it going on. But they really don't. So don't be lukewarm. Don't have that lukewarm faith. It's too many lukewarm churches as it is. Where is the righteousness at? They say, I am rich and have became wealthy. Hmm. And Jesus pretty much told them, y'all ain't all that. Y'all really need help. Y'all are in bad shape. Y'all better repent. Thanking y'all all rich and all this other stuff. Y'all better repent and turn from this mess. Because once again, he is the only one who holds the keys. But I like that word repent. See, our Lord always is so patient with us. So much grace. But what if that grace run out tomorrow? What if that grace ran out next week? What if you didn't get a chance to sin like you want no more because the last time you sin was the last time you sin? With that being said, don't have lukewarm faith and be careful sitting inside of these lukewarm churches. Neither hot nor cold. God bless you.